Hello everyone, I'm Coco Sherelle and welcome to my channel Bling and Air. Today I will be designing a photo album book for my customer's baby boy. I designed a photo book for her first child some years ago and she recently reached out to me for her new baby. She wanted it to represent Winnie the Pooh with the baby blue, yellow, and white color bling. I cannot wait to get started on this so if you would like to see how I transform this photo album, keep watching. Okay, let's get started. For this project, I will be using rhinestone sheets and some loose rhinestones. I'm using baby blue, yellow, and white as requested by my customer. There will be a lot of measuring because I want the placement just right. I wanna use every bit of these rhinestone sheets effectively. I used three sheets in total, two blue, one yellow, and I had some white diamond and blue left over from a previous project. These rhinestone sheets are self-adhesive. That just means that the glue is already on the back side of the sheet. It's just like having a sticker, but a very strong one. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hopefully you will like what you see, hit that thumbs up and subscribe button and be part of the Blink family. For my returning viewers and Blink family, it's always a pleasure to have you tuned in. Now y'all don't forget to give this video a thumbs up too because you already know it's going to be another beauty. The photo album will be completely covered in rhinestone sheets and so far I've been working on the front of the album cover. Now I'm coming in with the yellow. I'm cutting strips to use as a border to go around the blue. The items that I'm using will be in the description section below, so please check it out if you're interested. As usual, my videos are sped up, and I will pop in here and there when I feel I need to explain something. So please enjoy me doing what I do best and design this photo book. I went ahead and started on the back cover with the yellow putting it around the edges. Now I'm adding the white diamond rhinestone trim. This strip does not have adhesive on the back so I'm going to be using liquid Loctite glue. Now I'm going to add the blue rhinestone sheet to the middle of the cover.
So I want to get a little fancy with the spine of the book and I'm going to create a stripe pattern with some of the rhinestone pieces. Here's where I'm going to create the baby's name and personalize this album. Using my laptop and my Silhouette Cameo software, I typed in the baby's name and I'm using a bold Georgia font. I'm adjusting the size of the measurement that I want and then I'm going in with the offset feature to frame the name. I really love using this because it brings out whatever image that you're working on. I'll be using heat transfer vinyl for the name so I have to mirror the image. To bring the offset feature to life, I have to separate the name from the frame. Print cut them separately and use two different vinyls to show the effect. So I'll be using white glitter for the frame and silver glitter vinyl for the name. So my laptop is ready to go. It's hooked up to the Cameo machine and I'm starting with the first layer which is the white glitter that's going to be the frame for the name. So I'm sending all the information over right now to the machine, just getting everything ready, making sure my numbers is correct. As you see, it says heat transfer glitter, making sure it's there, making sure my numbers is correct. And then I'm going to hit send and we're going to be ready to cut. I only have a simple image to cut, so it's not going to take long. Please excuse my mat. It's been through some hard times. It's time for a new one. As you see, it is barely sticking. I put some tape on the corners of the vinyl to make it stick. But yes, I am due for a new mat. <laughs> Okay, so the offset frame is done. Now it's time to cut out his name in the silver. Okay, so back to the laptop. I'm going to remove the offset layer and now replace it with the name. And that's going to be cut out in silver. Okay, that is done. So now it's time to peel everything out so you can really see what it looks like with both of the layers. So there you have it, Kahari's journey is ready. And that's what it looked like with the offset feature. The two layers really brings out the name. So this part right here is a little tricky and I don't know any other way to do this yet. But to put the first layer down on the rhinestone sheet, I'm going to be using my Loctite glue. Now some of the letters are connected and I want to keep the whole name on the plastic. This helps the placement and make sure that everything stays straight because it cannot be crooked. So I'm lifting some of the letters at a time, putting glue on the back pressing them down into the rhinestone sheet. And once I feel that they are adhered to the rhinestone sheet, I will lift up the plastic, leaving the letters behind. Ooh, I'm so happy that part is done. So now this part is a little bit easier. I'm taking the silver glitter vinyl off of the plastic sheet and placing it in the middle of the letter. 
like I'm doing right now with the H, just making sure I put it in the middle of the white H because I want to make sure I keep that frame around there. Now it's time for the individual rhinestone crystals. I'm using crystal color size 3, 4, and 5 millimeter. I'm using E6000 glue, and as you see, I'm only placing the crystals on the silver glitter vinyl, not the white. I want that white to make his name stand out. I am reaching the finish line and I cannot wait for you guys to see Kahari's journey. Since we're on the topic of journeys, I just started my second YouTube channel called Serene Gratitude. And it's all about improving your mindset and inner peace with positive thinking and reflections. My own gratitude journey has really helped me build a more thankful heart and I wanted to share that with others. So I would love if you guys can go over there and follow me as I build that channel. The link will be in the description section below. Thanks guys. my god this is so freaking cute look at the sparkle guys yo i love these colors together when my customer asked for these colors and said winnie the pool all i could think about was the beer and the red shirt i had to look it up and i saw so many cute baby showers and nurseries with the theme and then i realized they got the colors from the honey jar so isn't that cute i'm happy i was able to create this for her now both of her boys have bling photo albums made by me and I wanted this album book to resemble the first one I made. I'm going to insert some video clips of the first book. So this is Big Brother Collage's photo book and as you see there's similarities. I wanted to make sure that they did complement each other. Okay guys, so I want to know if you like the photo album book. Do you like Kahari's and Kalaja's? Would you do something like this for your children as a keepsake? Do you think this will make a beautiful baby shower gift, christening gift, or maybe birthday? I would like to know what you think in the comment section. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much everyone for watching me make Kahari's Journey photo album. If you are interested in having me create this or any of my other bling designs, please leave me a message on my SD shop. The link will be in the description section below. And until next time guys, stay blessed. Bye.